Hey everyone, welcome to the making of the epic FF9 medley part 2, the sequel. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see uh, how it all works in, in Cubase. This is Cubase, this is the whole project for this medley. Um, there's a whole bunch of things on the screen. You've got the timing on top, then you've got the bars, uh, the time signatures which surprisingly are quite simple actually I'm just looking at them right now it's just it's just four four three four six four which doesn't mean that the music cannot be complex and it is quite complex at times in this medley um, the tempo map on the other hand is quite busy there's a lot of stuff happening it goes from 70 up to 220 yeah there's a lot of uh, a lot of movement in there. Then we have this very interesting track, which is the OST titles track, uh, which basically enables me to go to any section of the medley uh, quite easily. I have the list here. So let's just say I want to work in, on Dark Messenger. Uh, I don't. I don't have to listen to the whole thing to find it. it it's just. It's here. Yeah. I only have to press play and. And then we have the most important stuff in there. Those three huge folders. Um, the first one, the guests, obviously contains all of the, the tracks that the, the musicians sent me. Got everything here. The band is uh, drums, bass, keyboards. Omnisphere counts as keyboards, but I, um, I like to have it in a different folder. And the guitars. And finally, the orchestra. Because this... this piece has a lot of symphonic stuff so I had to replicate some of the symphonic pieces from the OST which is why I have strings this is some MIDI strings that I programmed winds but winds uh, is quite empty because I had a I programmed them in MIDI to begin with but then I had them played and replaced by the guests and so there's just the clarinet left because it was just a little little snippet so I uh, and the clarinet VST is quite good so I left it there and then we've got brass which I recorded myself of course there's a whole bunch of, of French horn tracks uh, trumpets trombone there's actually a VST for the low brass section uh, this is um, from Symphobia and it has like trombone tuba bassoon and timpani <laughs> And then we've got percussion, choir, and, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff, like overdubs. And finally, two quite important tracks. The reference track actually doesn't have anything to do with Final Fantasy. Uh, this is um, kind of like my inspiration corner. So let's say I want a specific section of the medley to sound like, uh, like a particular song from a band that I listen to. I'll just have that track there so I can easily listen to it and and switch with my project, you know, to compare them. Like if I want to replicate a mix or a specific sound or something. And this one, which is really important, this is the OST reference. It contains uh, songs from the actual soundtrack. And so this is where it gets really interesting for you guys because I'm going to show you how I create these arrangements. So this is the original track, Escape from Alexandria. This is how it sounds. So the first thing that I do is I'll create a tempo map out of it. So how do we do that? We have this great tool here, which enables you to adjust the tempo for each measure. Because the thing is, this original track wasn't recorded with a very steady tempo. Obviously, this was conducted by someone and it didn't have like a, a click track in his ears. So the tempo moves from measure to measure and I can adjust it like this, you see. So I just have to figure out the first bit of every measure and then I create this tempo. <laughs> 
And as you hear, the click perfectly follows the piece. And so the next thing that I do is um, I record the drums. The very first thing that I record is the drums. And I'll just, you know, sit behind the kid and uh, try and come up with something interesting. And in this case, this is what I came up with. And then I usually create the, the bass track. So this is done entirely. The very first version of the bass track is just MIDI because I I don't have a I don't have a, a bass guitar. I don't play the bass guitar, so I play it on the um, on the keyboard. And so this is what it looks like. You see, this is bass track. And so I send that to Anthony, and then Anthony not only replicates that, but he, he gives it uh, his own spin. I wouldn't want him to, to, to replay that exactly as it is. Um, I'm not a bass player, and usually he'll come up with ideas I would have never thought of. He did some really cool stuff on that one, just as he did on the World Crisis cover. Sometimes the bass part just goes wild suddenly. I just love that. And so this is how it sounds with just drums, bass, and that reference track. Here we go. And then I have to replicate, as I said, the orchestra. So there isn't any sheet music for that, or full scores or whatever so you've got to do it all by ear and just listen carefully to each instrument and uh, and then program it so that it sounds like the original so these are the strings the brass everything Let's check out a few other sections like this. <laughs> <laughs> 